Hi, I'm Shalane, this is Dean, and we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living. Today we're going to do another cooking show, yay! Except I'm just baking some pre-made cookies, so it's not that big a deal. But it's gonna be in our solar oven, which we've used a ton over the past few years. We've cooked chicken and bread and roast and lots of cookies and brownies and pizza. And we've used it to um, end school. Right, with our students, they have gotten to see demonstrations. We've had a whole school that we've baked cookies and brownies for in the solar oven. So we're gonna share that with you today. Last week we shared um, cooking in the BioLite. Okay. So I will link that over here so you can go check that out. But today we are doing the solar oven baking cookies. Let's go. Hey friends, welcome back. This week we're gonna show you cooking in our sun oven. Um, it's an all-American sun oven. It's just a solar oven. Nice setup. Uh, we've had this for, uh, I guess, around a decade, uh, and we've we've used it so often in so many ways. Um, the basic setup is just these panels are facing the sun. Uh, the panels are actually cool to the touch. Right now, it's probably 12 degrees Celsius, maybe 53 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's cool outside. But I don't know if you can do a close-up or not. But it actually has a thermostat on the inside right now and it's showing it's close to 300 degrees so we're gonna be able to bake some cookies today based on that it's a pretty simple set you'll see right over here we can get her out of the light you can see right on the inside I don't know if you can tell or not but right on the inside by coming through here it will show a, a little dot it's hard to get because I keep blocking it but yeah. It'll show a little dot there, and once you get it centered in the middle of that dot, you know you have it centered to the sun. It is important that you keep turning it ever so slightly to make sure it's following the sun as it rotates across, um, you know, every 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so like Dean said, we are doing cookies today, and they're actually just pre-made, not gonna lie. Some friends gave us these cookies. Oh, Tracy and Johnny from, um, what? RV SWAT. From RV SWAT. RV SWAT, thank you for these cookies. We're baking them today in the solar oven. Um, we've got, this one is oatmeal raisin and this is macadamia nut. Um, but like I said, we've actually cooked a whole chicken in our solar solar oven and whole loaves of bread. We, we cooked a whole chicken that we actually harvested ourselves. Remember when we lived in Amargosa Valley? Anyway, doesn't matter. We've cooked a lot of different things in here. Um, and the kids have sure gotten a kick out of it when I've taken it to school. We've taken it to school and because we're both former teachers. Oh, I forgot to grease because I'm talking too much. Anyway, a um, couple times we've lived, we've worked in super small schools and then we were able to actually take and do like brownies and cookies for the entire school and let the kids come out and see how the solar oven works. And it's been really fun to do that. The teachers have actually gotten a kick out of it too. Hopefully I'm not putting these too close together, but I wanna get them all done in one batch. Because if we cooked all the cookies in one batch, then you don't feel gluttonous. But if you split them up into two batches and you're like, I baked two batches of cookies, then that's like far too overindulgent. So, we got a batch of cookies here, and I think the oven is up to close to 350 now, isn't it? We'll check. Even at 340, like in a solar oven, it's just like your regular oven at home as far as like the temperature, except that actually it doesn't usually get much higher than 350. So sometimes it takes a little longer to bake things, but other than that, it just bakes like an oven that you would cook in at home. So you'll notice that I'm putting it on a fairly dark colored tray. We usually actually use a black one, but my black one is buried right now somewhere. I don't know where. And this one's a dark gray, but for obvious reasons, black is the best when you're doing a solar oven. Um, just cause like I said, the, you know, it's obvious the black kind of soaks in the heat or whatever the sun rays, but it doesn't matter. We have a dark gray um, pan and I greased them and I put the cookies on them and now we're gonna go put them in the solar oven. Open that up. We'll do that as quickly as possible. So we don't lose too much heat. 
and just clamp it down. And like Dean said, the sides don't get hot at all, but the door gets very, very hot. And these things get very, very hot too. So we'll pull, we'll make sure we have hot pad. And then the inside, it's a funny thing how, walk with me. <laughs> it's an oven. We know it's an oven. But the funny thing is, is that the first couple times you use it even, or maybe it's just the first time you use it, if you're smarter than me, you don't feel like it's an oven, right? It just looks like this box sitting in the sun. And like, you'll wanna reach in with your hand and pull out the cookies, which is so dumb because it's an oven. <laughs> so you have to make sure you realize it's an oven and always use hot pads just like you would an oven. So we're gonna wait, I'm guessing it's gonna take maybe 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll show you what these cookies look like when they come out and we would share them with you if you were hanging out in Missouri but I guess we'll just have to eat them. In fact if they want to come over sometime in the next 10 minutes yeah, we'd love to have you here. <laughs> Actually if you came over anytime we'd have you over for some cookies in the solar oven if we had a sunny day. When we lived in the desert we cooked in the solar oven actually quite often. We used, we used to live just a few miles from Death Valley National Park. And so obviously we could cook in our solar oven all the time. But at the moment, since we're a little stranded right now, we're hanging out in Missouri, which we love Missouri. But yeah, not quite as many sunny days here as in Nevada. So we haven't been using it as much. but. It's still fabulous anywhere. You guys should get one, it's pretty cool. So, we'll just wait for the cookies. Oh, and we'll um, we'll put a link below. Do you think they sell these on Amazon? If we find it on Amazon, we'll link it below so you can click on that and go buy one and then we'll become billionaires apparently from if you buy one. <laughs> Okay, we weren't paying attention to the time, but we think they've been about five minutes so far. And this is what they're looking like. There's that hole that Dean was talking about where you have to line up that, the sun through that little hole right there. But there's the cookies, you can see they're cooking. And we're at about, I don't know, I think we're at about 320, 330 degrees. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Um, one thing is, is that a lot of times this will, as it heats up, uh, whatever's in there releases moisture and it kind of gets trapped on the door, which is um, a little bit of a bummer. I actually think I might have an idea of how to solve that, but I don't want to say it until I do it and it's successful. <laughs> um, but no, I actually think if I rub the inside down with Dawn dish soaping, washing soap, I don't know doesn't matter that's what happens so we're going to open this and check the cookies i think it, they might need about five more minutes but we're going to check did you see the steam come out mm -hmm. so they look pretty good but I, i'm calling five more minutes i'm thinking five more minutes and that is going to be good to go Oh, there, from this angle, we can see that dot that we were talking about. We're almost, the sun's almost not in the middle of that dot. You gonna adjust a little bit? There, Dean adjust, adjusted the solar oven a little bit so that that dot is, I don't even know how to say that. I feel like I'm not making sense. Anyway. So that the hole is in the middle of the. Oh yeah, so the hole is in the middle of the sun dot. Okay, so it's actually been about a half an hour and they look pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and take them out. <clears throat> they smell miraculous. <laughs> they smell so good. Could you guys smell those over there? Ooh, they look so good. Can you see them? 
So the nice thing too about um, cooking in a solar oven is that like the, the bread or the chicken, anything, the cookies, anything that I've ever made doesn't, even if you tend to overcook it a little bit, it doesn't get dry for some reason. It doesn't dry out. So overcooking is a lot um, more difficult than it would be in a regular oven. <clears throat> so we're just gonna put these on the cooling rack and let them cool for a few minutes. I'm probably lying about that, honestly. We're probably not gonna let them cool. We're probably <laughs> just gonna eat them. <laughs> They'll cool really fast. We're outside and it's cold outside. What's the temperature? Outside? Yeah. About 52. See, 52. Done, they're all cooled off. So, um, this is actually a good time. We just got the news recently that all Missouri schools were closed for the rest of the year. Probably schools where you guys are at are closed for the rest of the year. Um, so if you're stuck at home, look online, look on YouTube. There's all kinds of videos on how to make a homemade solar oven. And it's, it's not gonna be this one. It's not gonna be as good, right? but it's still gonna be a lot of fun. You can build one and talk about solar power, maybe make some s'mores. Those homemade um, solar ovens are really good for s'mores and stuff like that, or roast some hot dogs or something. Have some fun at home with the kids with a homemade solar oven. If you live around us, you can give us a holler. We'll come and do a, you provide the cookie dough, we'll come over and bake your cookies for you. <laughs> enjoyed today's episode we enjoyed it because the four of us get to eat cookies so that's awesome remember to get out there and have fun bake some cookies of your own um, like subscribe and share and remember that when you um, subscribe to hit all notifications so you know when our videos come out which is every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock central that's correct right are we done well and if there's something else that you really want us to cook yeah. in the sun oven, just yeah. leave us a comment below. We'll be happy to see if we can put that together for you. Yeah. Okay, in these crazy, weird, funky times, keep your chin up and your smile on. This is Grassroots Living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. We're thinking of you, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>